Right, does this work? Hello? Is anybody there? Ah, right, so I've, uh, I've got a 1200XL here, I'm busy recording a, uh, an edited video for it, uh, but I thought I would hop on a live stream, uh, just as a bit of an experiment, um, and see how things go. Oh, there, there we are, we've got somebody already. Uh, I haven't got this monitor set up at the moment, I probably should do, actually. Um, could we do that? Uh, uh, let's see now. Uh, 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 maybe next time. Uh, hello, FGC. It's Atari fan. Hello, Atari fan. How are you? Um, I hope this is. Uh, I hope this looks okay. I haven't live streamed anything for a long time now, uh, so it's just a little bit of a test. Uh, and I'll be using some of the footage, locally recorded footage, for the video. I just wanted to see how things worked. I've just stuck a new graphics card in the PC. Well, I say new, it's, it's six years old. Um, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, nevertheless. So uh, what, what am I doing here? Well, I've got uh, a 1200XL motherboard here. Uh, this has come all the way from Canada. And uh, actually, uh, it's been a bit of a comedy of errors already. I've, I've got a, a UAV to go in this board and uh, completely forgot. <laughs> Halfway through doing a clear pick mod on the motherboard before I realised there was no need for it. Uh, so I've uh, undone all that and uh, here we are. Uh, so, so far I've gone through the manual. A uh, very nice printed manual here from the Brewing Academy. Um, it reads like a little storybook. Uh, it's got an introduction and it's got quite a lot of pages actually. It's, it's about a 40 page document. 33 pages. Um, and it's very good anyway, and it uh, tells you the jumper positions to put things in. And it, uh, what else does it do? Well, we've got the 1200XL page here. And the picture, which shows you where to hook things up. It's so small. Well, I'm going to get my glasses. Oh. I'll, I'll be, I'm glancing across to the right. Um, what's, what's going on here? I'm getting a message. What's up? Please use a free keyframe frequency of four. What? Oh Christ! Now what? 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 Oh, output keyframe frequency of four. What? Uh, ah, four seconds or less. Right. Try that, see what happens. So yeah, I'm looking across to the other monitor to see the chat. So if I don't get into it, if you say something and I don't notice it straight away, uh, I do apologize. I don't know what the video quality is like. I'm getting a warning about keyframes here. I'm using the same encoder for the local copy in the stream. Uh, so I don't know. Anyway, so the picture which shows where to hook things up is so small, um, but I, I, I can just about make it out anyway. So, yes. And where does the signal go to the jack? Uh, good God. So that's obviously gonna go here. There's a couple of inductors. Oh, right, okay then. Um, I think we'll put a nice socket uh, under the CD4050 and replace the one that's there. Oh, there's Atari XLEs turned up as well. Uh, maybe there is a downloadable PDF. I've just sent Marlon a, a message actually, but I'd, uh, I'd probably be alright. Um, just to ask that very question. I couldn't see a link on the website, but uh, who knows. 
I'm not too sure, but anyway, we'll just see how we'll just see how we get on. Um, I want to replace this socket anyway under here. I'll move to the other camera so you can see what's going on. Right. Okay. I've never got enough space here either. Uh, right. Well, I'm still getting this keyframe. Uh, what's open widget? Let's see. Focus on the current people sent off one off, which will cause buffering. The stream's current bit rate is higher than the recommended rate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Keyframes are on auto. Uh, now they're on. Oh, hold on a minute, I'm on the wrong damn tab, that's why. Oh, oh no, I'm on the right tab. So put that down to three. Apply, okay. Is that going to make that go away? Stream state is poor. Oh, God. Hello, anyway, yes, hello. Uh, So what does the what does the video quality actually look like? I've, I, this is the first time I've used the new YouTube Studio back end here, and it's all going to hell in a handbasket. Um, anyway, let's uh, see if we get this socket off. At least the at least the local copy of the video should be okay. So anyway, I'll try and behave as if as if I'm going to do something useful with this footage. Ah, right. Okay. So add a little bit of extra solder here. video looks good here on a fan noise that's the desoldering gun unfortunately <laughs> it's this fella here um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be long before we've got this turned off again so looks okay. This thing kept blocking up all the time and it was actually because one of the reasons was because the uh, the thing holding the tip on was loose. <laughs> all, the, all the air was getting dragged in around the around the brake and the air seal if you like. Uh, that should come off now. So we'll remember to clean this before we uh, turn it off. Come on, you swine. There we go. It's broken through to the other side. Right. Very good. Right, so that should be a little bit less noisy. Um, yeah, I'm not using the constant bitrate for this stream because I'm trying to use the same encoder for the local copy in the stream so that my PC doesn't get completely bogged down. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see when it's all done. I suppose. As long as I've got a local copy, that's good. That's the main thing. Uh, 
Right, is this going to come off with a, without a fight? Probably not. Yeah, you swine. Right, I'm going to persuade it off with a bit of uh, a bit of this as well. Right, I'll catch up to the chat a little bit. I've got to stay near the cam. I've got to have to set up this other monitor. Um, right, where are we? Uh, Greg Davies just now finished installing UAV in an 800XL. Now updating the firmware in a retro T rec a retro Tink. 2x pro next will be updating the ultimate one megabyte what on earth is a retro tink 2x pro greg i've, I've never heard of that uh, right what make model soldering iron ah well yes uh-huh uh it looks for all the world like a an fx 951 hacko uh, but it's one of the uh, it's one of the knockoff versions actually because uh, at the time when I bought this equipment here, I spent all the money that I had on this, <laughs> the BST eight six three uh, rework station, which is a kind of a, um, it's just as good as the quick, um, eight sixty one DW. It's everybody's nice as the quick, but it's a little bit cheaper. And then on uh, on a whim I went for this on Banggood. And the, the handle, I don't think I've got the handle to hand that it came with. The handle was a complete disaster. Uh, the, the little spring contacts inside were completely destroyed. So I ordered this one separately. And I uh, ordered the nice Hakko tip cleaner and stuff. And uh, it t I just wanted to get into T12 tips. And to be honest, the thing is perfectly fine. It cost about 60 quid altogether. And uh, it works every bit as nicely as the real one, actually. Um, but I would like, I would prefer to buy the real one. I'm fairly uh, committed to buying uh, the proper hacker one. The only thing it lacks is the sleep timer uh, or the sleep function. So this crappy stand, uh, you put the handle in it. It's not connected to the back of the machine, the back of the base unit at all. So it doesn't go to sleep. Other than that, it's every bit as powerful as the uh, as the real thing. So that's that's the answer. But if you, if you want my advice and you don't want to mess around with uh, uh, dodgy stuff uh, that might not work or might arrive damaged, just buy the 951. But there's plenty of other T12 irons now. There's the TS100 and the TS... Is the TS200? There's loads of, way, there's loads of really nice uh, T12 irons now. Uh, where are we? Much better... YouTube still says this is poor. Uh, Nasty Niff says, "Did you choose a 4K TV?" Well, I was on the verge of um, I was on the verge of ordering uh, an LG, a 43-inch LG, on Argos because I figured I could just about afford it with the wife's 10% staff discount, and then they were out of stock. Uh, so that put that put pay to my plans. So I've just got the two little screens back now. For the moment, um, so that was a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment. But I, I'm still, I'm still looking. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna persuade this thing off here uh, with this thing. And I just haven't got the patience. I'm gonna heat this up just so I don't drag anything out of the board. Uh, there we go. Right, where's the long nose pliers? There we go. That's better. If we do things our own special way around these parts. Uh, oh. 
I've just got such a lot to catch up on because Candle has been uh, Candle has been working me pretty hard with this side three business and uh, before I knew where I was half of the week had just disappeared and uh, I've got to catch up with this so what what better way to <laughs> get some work done to do a live stream honestly what the hell is wrong with me oh god right that looks nice and clean I'll clean that up uh, retro tink is a video component car oh it's a it's a like an upscaler of yeah nice right. so it's a HDMI HDMI thing ah right that's interesting I hadn't heard of that one before um, What's the name of the really popular open source one um, that I've heard about somebody was going to buy the other day, I'm sure. Uh, okay, check the back now. When I take a chip off like this, or a socket, I always go right overboard checking the traces even if I'm um, even if it just came off and fell out the hole I always check the traces because the last thing you want to do is put a socket on and then realize that something's gone wrong so I'll do the customary thing I'll be using this in the recorded video of course uh, there we are a nice view of uh, the removed socket now I'm gonna go and find a, a 16 pin socket to put this in ah Hello Rich Hill, hello to Yukami, I'm, I'm reading across the room, I'll, I'll get this monitor set up next time, I'm just going to go and look for a socket. Right, my little box of sockets here. Uh, yeah, oh God. Uh, it's the wrong box of sockets. Different box of sockets. YouTube still says stream quality is poor. I'm, I'm very upset about that. Oh god, where the hell? Don't say I've run out of precision 16 pin sockets after all that. Oh god, no. Gotta be having a laugh. This just wasn't meant to be right from the start. Oh. Right, and there must be somewhere I must have a socket. Oh, what's in this? Sorry, folks, looking for a socket. Oh, oh crap, what's happened there? Uh, what we got here?
another box. Aha! Aha! Found some. Right. Thank God for that. Oh. Oh, shit. All gone wrong. Oh. Right, where did that other one go? Oh. Oh, to hell with it. Who cares? Right. Uh, any of these? So, oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, oh can we chat a bit? Oh. Thomas Winston says, stream quality looks good to me, sound is excellent, hi. 1200XL quietly waits almost 40 years for, an, <laughs> for a video upgrade. The moment there are no chips on it. Exactly, what the hell's going on? Oh, I'm going to end up having to cut the socket down, aren't I? It's just really crappy. Ugh. Unbelievable. How, do, how, how have I even allowed this to happen to get down to zero supply of such an important thing? It just doesn't make any sense. What about... Hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. What about? Ah! Uh -huh. A fantastic idea! What about two 8 pin sockets? Hey, hey, how about that? Oh, ho, ho, brilliant! That'll do. Oh, that'll do just fine. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Let's tack them on so I can ow level them off. There we are. Right, make sure they're flat. Make sure they're flat and straight. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, there we go. There we are. How 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 is that for a a creative solution? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this footage. I could probably send it to You've Been Framed. Uh, you wait two years for a live stream and what do you get? This crap. Oh. Right. There we are. Okay, so now we've got somewhere to put the uh, UAV. Uh... Orientation, anybody? I presume it goes that way. Alright. Let's have a look at the picture. Uh, photograph does not oh well it doesn't show the doesn't show the device plugged in. Um, surely it goes that way. <laughs> I'd better be sure. Does anybody know is that the correct way this thing goes in here? Uh I have got a photograph showing it plugged in. Ah, yes, there we are. If we look at the uh, if we look at the 800XL, which has the chip in the same orientation, we can see uh, that that is indeed the correct orientation. Um, so, right, good. Uh, now, um, 
hard thing out because we're going to completely separate the. Uh, oh, this is completely fast. Stuff falling all over the floor. Oh, Christ's sake. Put this over here. Out of the goddamn way. Right. So I want to eventually completely sever the um, well all three uh, signal paths um, so obviously chrominance is disconnected and luminance I can't remember the pin out of the connector oh. Huh. I believe so. I believe so, and don't call me surely. Absolutely right. Right. So composite video and luminance on the left-hand side. Right. That's that's fine. So right, luma is on the outside pin, and I'm assuming this is going to end up uh, somewhere down here. So that's on the left hand side, so to disconnect that completely we've got a, what's that there? Right, so we've got a captive ground on the luminance, probably can't see this. Uh, right, so, luminance, uh, captive ground, which I guess can come off. And then it goes round here and it goes down to this middle coil. So we'll lift. Um, yeah. Are we are we soldering these outputs to the back of the coil or are we just bypassing the coil altogether? I can't remember how we uh, usually do this now. Uh, right. That's very short, the installation uh, guide. Mm -hmm. I think the assumption made here is that you actually you, you're going to stick a, an S video jack on the back of the machine which is absolutely not going to happen here right so the middle coil is Luma uh, we've got composite video that goes to the left coil that's nice and straightforward and I'm assuming well that's all we need really isn't it because there's no path for this one uh, okay, so if we lift the back of both coils and see if chat's got anything uh, Bonjour de France. There we are, that's all the information I need to proceed with confidence. Um, and hello to Acon1. That, that's a name that rings a bell. Definitely rings a bell. Okay, right, so let's... Uh, do some of these little hook up points now. And then we can see what we're doing. I hate these uh, terminal connectors, I have to say. Not a fan of them at all. It's just a personal preference, I just hate them. Right, so we've got some nice wire here, which I'm assuming is going to be. Uh, the good stuff. Right, so what, what connections do we have to make first? <clears throat> right. Uh, it's rather a shame that the silk screen is invisible when there's terminal blocks on the top of the board because you can't actually see what is what without referring to a diagram. Ah, there, I'll refer to this one. I can actually read this. I can't read this. Um, well, I can sort of read that. So we've got ground, we've got composite video. Uh, so composite video is the second one down. That's going to have to go all the way along here. Uh, so obviously this wire isn't going to be long enough, so I have to get some more wire. Oh, oh. oh. Let's get some nice bits of wire. Oh, I've got to try and edit this down later on. It's ridiculous. 
Um, right, we've got some nice, nice wire, some nice grey wire. Nice grey wire. Oh, that looks like nice wire. It's a bit thick, but uh, have we got anything else? Oh, this is this is nice. There's a nice bit of grey wire. The most important thing in the world, of course, is that we uh, have colour coordinated wire. That's that's one thing that you must absolutely ensure is that your wire is 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 properly colour coordinated. Because without that, you have well, you have nothing. You have chaos. Without proper wire colour coordination. Right. Dump that down there. Move this. Alright. So. According to the instructions here. Composite video. Why don't we, why don't we do composite video first? Excellent idea. We'll do composite video first because we know that if we solder it to the back of this um, inductor, then we will have a working circuit. But ah, well, let's before we do that. Before we do this, um, we need to do the hookup points, don't we? Uh, so we've got uh, color. Ground and 5 volts I don't think we need because we've already got connections to both because it's plugged into the board. So we just need colour in and colour in is this bottom pin here. So let's do colour in. That's going to go to the bottom here. Stream quality poor, yeah, in more ways than one. Every sense of the word. All right, let's see if we can. I'll take this out for a minute and put these wires in. There we go. And screw that down. Mhm. Mm so that's our colour in, and colour in apparently comes from the front pin of R20, uh, R7, R, what? R74, I think. Yes, alright, well, so that can be reasonably short. So we'll uh, do that. Very good. There we go. We'll tin that. All right, and uh, let's do our other wires. So this has got a stretch along there. That should, that should be long enough. Be respectable. Yeah, the, the, the quality of AI on YouTube now is absolutely incredible because it's actually got stream quality poor, and of course, as you can all see, it's absolutely correct. Um, right, so composite video is the second one from the top. So let's push that in there, like so. Oh. All right, and then tighten that up. Ah, yes not open. There we are. We 
Which one did I say it was? Second, second top. There we are. Oh God! Right, in we go. That's good, nice and tight. Next one is luminance and chrominance. Okay, so use this one for luminance. podcast shortly uh, for those of you who like to listen to podcasts so watch out for the next episode because I'm right so obviously it's going to be great uh, recorded that on Sunday afternoon thanks to the all the guys at the Antic podcast that in there. Oh, stay in, you swine. I haven't really got the patience for this, you know. Alright. Right, was that correct? No, 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 no. Grounding in. Yeah, well, that looks about right. Okay, so let's just do a rough... I'm not, it's, it's, it's not intended to be a work of art, this one. It's just, I just want to see it work at this point. Right. Okay. So within three soldering operations, this should work. Okay. All right, so let's see if it does. Let's shorten this wire a little bit. God, I've really got out of the habit of doing live videos, mind you. I can I can really understand why the reception to edited content was so positive. Just got rid of this rumbling chaos. Right. Colour down here. Uh, put a little kink in that wire. Da -da -da. I'm surprised Candle's not in the chat saying, John, have you tested that? Uh, Slow clock on the RT on the SD card yet? Ah, he's probably got better things to do. All right, there we go. That's on there. Uh, well, actually, to hell! Oh God! Sold the wrong damned wire. Idiot. Right, try again. What an absolute twit! Is that composite video? I don't even need composite video. Right, screw composite video for the moment. I don't care about composite video. I'm not even using a composite cable. Let's just test to see if this is going to work. So I said, um, does this need a, now does Chroma still need a series resistor? Well it won't need a series resistor now on here will it? No it won't. Uh, so we've got luminance 
which I've got on this wire here and I said that luminance was on the where did I say luminance was where did I say luminance was come on uh, right where did I say luminance was well, that is down here aha uh -huh. I said luminance is on the middle inductor. Okay, so oh, this is going to be a bitch to get off. I think I'm going to fire up the desoldering gun for this thing. Right, so I want this, I actually want, um, right, I want both these inductors lifted uh, at the back, that sounds like a sensible idea. Oh, oh is anybody still here? camera freezing. Looking forward to your antic episode. Thanks Greg. Marshall Henderson just put UAV in an 800XL hooked up to a Commodore 1702 monitor splitting the chroma luma on the back and the sound going to Bosey. So I take it it looks absolutely splendid does it? I'm sure it does. Ugh. Right. Come on, heat up. Why am I getting slow more on the Oh God? What's with the slow mo stuff? CPU 15.2%, 13 frames a second. Alright, so what's the problem? Something about this image the camera doesn't like? Oh, what a disaster. didn't really work. I'm moving around on top of the board. What the hell is going on with this? Uh, uh, let's have another look. Um, definitely something wrong here. Definitely something wrong. Um, let's see now. Now I'm using MPEG, MJPEG capture. I'm going to try I420 and see if that makes any difference. Um, not really. What on earth is this about? Has this camera just had it now? 
Oh god, don't say the camera's knackered. Oh I just give up. Absolutely give up. So I haven't even got decent local footage to use in an edited video now. Well that's that's just effing marvellous, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, try to give to the people. And how am I repaid with nothing but misfortune, technical problems? Oh, they really are completely inaccessible. These uh, coils, God. I should probably take this off. Uh, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> Come on. Now if that's somebody at what on WhatsApp now is definitely not the best time. There we go. Oh well that didn't really help, does it look? I still can't get to this. Ah, oh, that, that's going to come off, sort of. Is that going to allow me to uh, see what I'm doing here? Christ. like a game of operation this is ridiculous ah there we go come on come on come on oh christ There we are. Bloody hell. Right. So what did I say? The top one was Luma. Uh, and I said that was the middle one. Right. Side the board, isn't it? For the moment, um, I'll find a way to feed that. Uh, well, actually, this this is going to have to come off. So, God, what the hell is going on with this camera? Oh, this is no good. This is no good. Right, I'm just going to tax all of this onto the. Uh, connector and just to see if it works or not and then I'll end the stream there's something wrong with the cameras and it's just a complete disaster so to those of you who actually sat through this uh, slideshow uh, thank you very much uh, if it wasn't for the camera screwing up I would be I don't mind uh, things going wrong particularly but when you can't see what's going on, it's uh, not much fun. Mm. Well, let's see if this works. Let's switch over to the other camera. And now it works. I think there's something about the bottom of this board that the camera gets completely overwhelmed with. Oh, well, that's something to remember, isn't it? <sighs> right. Let's see what happens here. Huh. 
Bloody hell. Well, I'll go to the top of our stairs. Oh, Christ. Yes, it actually works. Um, I'll put a cartridge in or something just so we can see something other than... Um, come on, focus you swine. There we go. Well, that's uh, pretty good. It's uh, not. Yeah, I uh, it's kind of sharp. Less these glasses. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks nice. So it does work. So I have fitted it correctly at least. But <laughs> what a mess. Ah. Oh. So a conclusion of some sort. What am I going to do with this footage? So it's going to be completely useless. Oh, oh well. So there we have it. How is this booted up to basic XE? Oh yes, of course the. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, is it possible to get something more colourful? I wonder. Um, oh, I know what I could plug in. Oh, oh, oh. If I can find it. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. oh, look at this, Sebastian, Sebastian, it's even more unstable on the 1200XL than it is on all the other machines, what are you doing, what are you doing to me, help, oh well, that seems like a fitting place to end. I've gone completely mad. Um, all right then. So uh, yes, I'll, I'll end this here. We've got significant technical problems and uh, significant mental problems to go with it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks to everybody who turned up and participated in the chat. I, I don't really know what to say other than uh, sorry. I think that's the most appropriate response. But uh, yes, we see we've got a little bit of work to do on the uh, on the old side three cartridge here. Um, Sebastian said it's time to make another demo video, but uh, is it? Oh well, okay. So, uh, but yes, yeah, seriously, I do have some good things to show you on the side three. Uh, we've made really a lot of progress this week, but it's at the moment we're trying to make sure that it works with uh, <laughs> that it works with the <laughs> Oh God! Oh dear! I'm, I'm gonna have to stop now. I'm starting. I'm starting to lose, lose a grip. All right then. That was fun. Well, I'm glad you, <laughs> glad you thought so. Oh, thank you very much, Greg, uh, and thank you very much to everybody else. Uh, I'm, it'll be like a, an autopsy going through what what the hell this footage looks like once it's up. Uh, and processed uh, so anyway uh, thank you very much and uh, I'll see you I guess in a, an edited video uh, very soon so uh, bye bye for now everybody thanks a lot <laughs>